This is what I call a perfect day, a trifecta. Today we had really three significant milestones that we were hitting and celebrating. I want to thank everybody who has come together. This really is a game changer for Virginia. We got a $25 million groundbreaking that's going to go on over here. We got a 1.3 million investment over here. <laughs> And then, of course, we got a signing uh, agreement, which is so important for the Commonwealth of Virginia. The nutrient trading agreement with the city of Hampton being the first in the region is a milestone. So having that agreement passed and then signed today uh, with the governor present uh, was really exciting. This agreement will reduce our discharges by 90 percent. And in this case, we're trading them with our local partners in Hampton Roads to save money on stormwater retrofits. SWIFT is really a game changer for the nutrients that go into the bay. But this is an innovative approach that we hope will be modeled in other areas, not only in Virginia, but throughout the Chesapeake Bay watershed. We celebrated the groundbreaking for our research center. This $25 million research center is going to be built here in northern Suffolk at our Nansman treatment plant. Once we have this facility, people are going to be able to come here and learn and be able to develop the body of knowledge about treating water and then being able to use it to augment the aquifer. In this research center facility, offers an opportunity for us to uh, educate the public, educate other folks in the industry, other utilities that may be considering using uh, this type of process. So what really excites me is the ability to share this with the world outside of just Hazen and Sawyer, HRSD, and Hampton Roads. We get to take this throughout the world. With that, the next group of folks will uh, break ground. One of our mission statements is to make a positive difference uh, in the lives of our communities we're working in, and the SWIFT facility really speaks to that uh, very specifically, and we're excited to be a part of it. We also did a ribbon cutting for an extensometer. One, two, three. One way to get a direct measurement on lamb subsidence or rebound, and that's through the use of an extensometer. The extensometer is a critical piece of being able to quantify land subsidence. It really is on a personal level a great pleasure to be involved on something that's far reaching and has such a great benefit for the Commonwealth and for the community where we're serving. I think the SWIFT effort uh, demonstrates exactly how we need to start taking care of our precious resources. Really appreciate the excitement that everyone seemed to have for what we're doing, uh, both here on the research center and as well as the whole SWIFT initiative.